Is it a concert or a Catholic mass? Plenty of prayer and preaching, but also a lot of music. With everyone joining in. Lord, I know you love me, she sings. The man at the altar, and also belting out the songs, Father Marcelo Rossi. A Catholic priest and former personal trainer at the forefront of a Brazilian movement trying to invigorate the church and lure the faithful back into the fold. Using methods more often associated with evangelicals. The difference with the traditional Catholic church is striking. This is obviously a warehouse on the periphery of the city, and these people are just having a great time. Thousands of parishioners pack in for Father Marcelo's masses, many of them young and working class. Faces not often seen at many of the city's older Catholic churches. Brazil is the country with the world's largest number of Roman Catholics. But lately, the church is scrambling to hang on to them while the number of Protestant evangelicals climb. In the 2010 census, just 65% of Brazil's 191 million people said they were Catholic, down from 92% in 1970. <laughs> Ahead of Pope Francis' visit, the Vatican took note of Father Marcelo's slightly unorthodox but successful masses. He and other singing priests from the charismatic renovation will provide the entertainment for millions of young people converging on Rio de Janeiro. Back at the sanctuary, when candles are lit and Father Marcelo walks among the faithful, many break down in tears. Some pray for employment. I came here to give thanks because my prayer was answered, says this woman who just landed a job. Good preaching, good music, and the promise of a job. Just the thing to fire up young crowds. Shasta Darlington, CNN, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yeah.